everyone. Come on, walk up the forestry. We got Katniss, Lani, Nala, Arya, and Finnick with us. Um, hey, Winifred! So, yeah, anyway, that's our little group for today. Um, well, for this walk. And then I'm going to do the tips with Pod, Phoebe, Jude, um, Pumpkin. I knew there was somebody else. Not Raven, because she's in season. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, speaking to somebody. And they were like, oh, you know, you show people, like, your dog's a bit fatter, don't you? I said, they're thinking, well, no, not really. Certainly not on the Dalmatians. It's just different builds of dogs. And, like, Pumpkin looks better with a little bit more weight on her. Um, I think. And if Nala and Arya are too lean, it doesn't really suit their frame. It's like Arya's got a huge bum on her. A really powerful muscly and it would look wrong if she was like skinny with that big massive ass um, but it is true for other breeds that they do like more weight on them in the show ring think about the labs they're fat think about some of the mastiff breeds they like to give them a look of more size um, and maybe the bull terriers, the bulldogs. I'd say they're often fatter than they need to be. Come on, Nala, move. Go. Um, and then it goes into, you know, the difference between the show line and the working line. And why does the show line and the working line look so different? And I'd actually say with the GSPs, the show line is a little bit smaller, a little bit finer. Whereas the working line has a little bit more bone, a bit more substance. Um, and obviously, like, they're less worried about height in the working line. Because the dog's a good worker and that's all you need. Um, oh, you're always peas and puddles. Katniss, you look so enthusiastic today, my girl. So, yeah, to me, it makes no sense. Like, we should be breeding, judging, showing the dogs as to their working ability or whether that's still a current job or a historical job like these guys. you still got to look at a Dalmatian and think, is that dog structurally sound enough? to keep up with horses for 20 odd kilometers, miles or whatever a day. And you should look at gun dogs and judge them based on their work and ability. And yeah, and then I thought in the UK, we have like a leading sire, leading dam competition as well as like dog of the year, puppy of the year, whatever. And they collect points at shows and stuff. I thought, is that really a huge reflection on those dogs? So, for example, what if there was a competition where you had a dam and an offspring from two different litters and maybe two pups from each litter of those two litters were judged as well as the dam herself so it'd be truly judging based on your stock your work in stock and then the same for sires like pick two or three different litters one or two pups from each and you're judging that sire that dam on their ability to produce. Because there are some dogs that outproduce themselves. 
And then there are some dogs that just like produce one outstanding offspring that wins a lot, but they're not really producing consistently. So this way, to my mind, you're judging more on the consistency of what those dogs are producing. I just think it'd be a really interesting competition. And I know it's never gonna happen, because I certainly am got the knowledge or the ability to get something like that off the ground. Finnick, no! You are naughty. Take the mick, because he's wound up because Raven's in season, but he remembers Katniss was in a couple of weeks ago. And he also knows Katniss is the only one who wouldn't hand his bottom to him for doing it. <laughs> to put it in YouTube terms. You good? You having fun? Notice how relaxed this group is. Well, they're still running a bit, some of them are. Like Phoenix gone. <laughs> like Arya's running a bit, but it's not like wild, is it? But it can be quite wild if Pumpkin and Raven are with us. Be interesting how it goes with Raven. If all goes to plan, how she'll be. Yeah, Katniss is on a diet. She's on adult food now she's had a season. It's just like the only way to really get any weight off of her. See, she's so fat. You've got a milk bar situation going on in a phantom. Yes. So anyway, it's just me jabbering on on a nice walk up the forestry. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed me wittering on and I shall see you all soon. Bye.